There we go. Okay, good evening. Uh, this is the regular meeting of the Daly City Library Board of Trustees, uh, Tuesday, May 15th, 2018. Uh, we call the meeting to order. Please rise and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. You certainly may. <coughs> Trustee Logarta. Present. Trustee Louie. Present. And President Lex. Happy to be here. Thank you. Happy to have you here. Thank you. Uh, I trust everyone's had a chance to review the agenda. I would entertain a motion to approve the agenda. I move to approve the agenda. I'll second that. Okay, moved and seconded to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. And the minutes of our last meeting, uh, April 27th. Is uh, there a motion? Yes, there's a motion to move. Second. Okay. Approval of minutes. Is there a second? Second that. Sorry, didn't catch that. Okay, been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of our April 27th meeting. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Directory's report, summer learning program 2018. I'm looking forward to this because summer learning is always so interesting. <laughs> it does such a great job. Good evening, President Lex and members of the Board of Trustees. Um, in the month of May, we're, we're not quite into the summer season yet, so this is kind of a sneak preview. I assume at a future meeting, hopefully with, with five trustees, we'll give you the whole summer like, excitement. But, but we do have a highlight for today, and okay. that is the introduction, the inaugural appearance of our very own youth services librarian straight from the hills of Georgia. Maybe there were no hills. Um, <laughs> Happy to have her in Daly City, our youth services librarian, Sarah Spence. Sarah, Hi, might nice to welcome. introduce herself and tell us a little about herself and if you guys are going to collaborate on, yeah. on the summer, take it away. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not used to this at all. Um, well, hello. Um, it's nice to meet everyone. Um, my name's Sarah, and I just came from Georgia. Wow. Um, I actually grew up in the Bay Area in San Lorenzo and went to school. I went to Mills College in Oakland, and then I went to San Jose State for my master's, and after that I moved to Georgia to <laughs> become a children's librarian. And um, I've been there for eight years. I was a children's department head. We had seven branches in our system. and. I was ready to come back. So I'm back now and I'm really excited. Summer is one of my favorite parts of working in a library in the children's department. And now I'm doing teens too, so that's new for me, but it's exciting. So um, yeah, we're getting ready to go. <laughs> um, so uh, preparations for summer learning actually start in January. <laughs> um, so uh, definitely Sarah had to hit the ground running um, and, and has done that. Um, we are, I think, hopefully almost ready to go. Um, the program officially starts um, June 1st, but really doesn't get underway until the kids are let out of school, which is mid-June. Sure. Um, most excitingly, we received our books, um, which again came through the Measure K funded countywide initiative. Um, 8,500 books on three pallets. <laughs> it was, um, everyone was out there. It was like, a, <laughs> like one of those fire brigades, yeah. like unloading the boxes from the truck. Um, so Sarah's been going through those. Um, we did end up having to order another thousand books um, to fill in gaps, so we make sure that we have something um, age appropriate for all the kids. And um, we've also received our logs. Uh, I think you'll find that the program doesn't look a whole lot different from uh, last year. Um, we will have an online option, which I'm really excited about. Um, we will definitely be trying it out this year and seeing if we can move maybe more towards that for obvious efficiencies in terms of statistical gathering and also saving paper and trees. Um, we are working on streamlining the practice, um, what, what everyone does to, to 
join summer reading and to finish summer reading to just make it simpler, easier, emphasize the fun components and the reading and the books more than this, the, you know, the record keeping and all that. Um, we have a schedule of activities um, that I will distribute. Um, and then in addition to the planned activities, we'll have pop-up programs throughout the summer like we have in previous years. Um, that uh, we have teens that are coming in as interns that they'll be running those. Um, and yeah, we're very excited about that. And um, we will once again um, have you know the, the books as prizes. Um, Chipotle has um, given us uh, free you know vouchers for free um, kids meals and we'll have movie passes and of course that scholarship raffle, which is always such a, a touching part of it. And so the next stage of things, which is not going to be a small undertaking, Sarah's going to be doing the outreach to the schools. We have this kind of small window in which to do that because we want to catch them before they let the kids out for the summer. And I, I know that you've been scheduling and um, have had pretty good success. I don't know if you want to talk a little bit yeah. about that. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I, I feel very excited um, to go out into the schools. Um, so far, I've a scheduled 23 outreach um, visits, and that's for um, elementary school, middle, and high school. And so they're very excited. Um, I think a lot of them are excited because um, there hasn't been a youth services manager for a while, so they haven't seen the library um, at their school, so they're just really welcoming me and um, the library. So. That's within the next month. I have at least 23 visits to do. So wow. <laughs> luckily I have someone to help me. Um, but we're, we plan to give out um, the reading logs and books as sign-up prize sign-ups um, when we go to the schools and, and the calendars as well. So it's exciting. <laughs> Everyone's very active right now this time of year. So. Uh, any questions or comments? Not at this time. Not at this. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. no, no, Hope you'll bring true. your kids in to sign up. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. uh, so aside from getting ready for summer reading, Sarah, what other things have you done since you've been here? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm just really trying to figure out what what is priority for the for the system. Um, there's just there's so many things that I want to try, but I have <laughs> to ease into it. Um, so really, I'm just kind of yeah easing into it, and and I'm doing story times a little bit. I've done some field trips um, at other branches. I've gone to all the branches. I've talked to the staff. Um, I just really want to see what everyone else wants to see and maybe you know we can do some gradual changes um, I know staff is an issue <laughs> staffing there's not as much staff as I'm used to having so that's a challenge but um, I'm just I'm very passionate about being a children's librarian and um, now that I'm doing teen too I'm, it's just it's a, more of a challenge for me so I'm excited I'm excited to just do some new things and um, see if we could get more people into the library. <laughs> Sarah's also representing us with PLS and has been mm -hmm. attending the, uh -huh. the oh, so meetings yeah, of the I just started, Youth Services Group. Mm -hmm. I just started that too. So. <laughs> well, that sounds terrific. And I really want to welcome you here. We're so glad that you're part of the staff now. You're part Thank of you. the family. <laughs> uh, and I'm glad to hear that you've got lots of ideas. Don't lose them. You know, yeah. save them for some time, you know. Yeah. Uh, it really keeps us vibrant and makes things exciting. Uh, you've got a great foundation to build on, mm -hmm. uh, but you've got as much energy and, you know, <laughs> let me add it, uh, yeah. it's anyone I've seen, so. Thanks. Well, I have three kids, too, so, and they're all boys. Oh, wow. <laughs> so um, I have to be um, pretty active and and I mean they really actually help me as a librarian I give them books like nonstop like read 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 <laughs> tell me what you think tell me what you think so it's really helping me with readers advisory and um, I know a lot of the middle schools and high schools are interested in me coming and doing book talks and so that'll help me as well so oh, yeah, I'm excited I love I love this job I love it yeah. <laughs> 
What are the ages of your boys? Um, my youngest son's seven, and then my middle son just turned 13, and my oldest son just turned 15. Wow. So um, they're still in Georgia. They're coming. Oh, um, wow. School gets out next Tuesday, so they'll be on the road after your school yeah. gets out, and they should be here at the end of the month. So. Good. I just went and visited them for the weekend. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My boss is so nice. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? No, it yeah. sounds like you got a, a lot going on. <laughs> we're we're yeah. happy to have you. Um, any input or support you need, definitely reach out to us. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Joseph? I just want to say it's, it's uh -huh. great having her back, having, or having a youth services librarian we were uh -huh. without for quite a while, but sure. the previous tenure was not as long and before that you recall we had a five-year gap so we're hoping to get some momentum and sustain it for many years um, starting now with Sarah's band so welcome aboard Sarah again okay moving on to the budget update yes uh, for those of you who didn't stay up late last night um, the City Council did adopt the budget for the coming two fiscal years um, no changes have been proposed to libraries, which is, you know, that, that cuts both ways. The, the, the good thing is we're not looking at any further reductions in hours or staffing mm -hmm. at our libraries. That's a good thing. Um, the bad thing is we're not expanding staff or hours. We're holding status quo, it looks like, for the next two years, unless circumstances change. Uh, the budget that was adopted was another deficit budget, so there's not a pool of money to put into wants and needs and supplemental budget items, like some cities okay. go through that exercise. We're not there yet, but um, the future looks bright. There's, there's a couple promising developments in the future in Daly City, and hopefully we can get the sales tax and property tax base up and uh, get us fully funded and operational again. So, uh, Do you know approximately what the deficit is in that adopted <sighs> budget? I, I did not bring that part, but no, that's we can <laughs> dive into last night's meeting on the video, but uh, I don't recall the exact number. Um, well, it doesn't, if, do you have a round number? You know, three million? It's, I, I want to say somewhere between three and five million. Well, that's, that's pretty right. round. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We won't hold you um, to anything more than that. We, we could do a recap at the next meeting to break it down. Okay. Um, and we, we, we've done what we, we did present for the library budget. That didn't change, but it might be interesting to see where the rest of the allocations are for the city and, and what that gap is. So. Okay. Sure. So we will keep the budget update for yet another meeting. Another update. Another Sounds update. Good. Okay. Trustees report on advocacy. Uh, Trisha is not here. Uh, Joseph, can you talk? Yeah, Trisha and I did. It? We met for about an hour and a half. We were brainstorming like crazy, um, which is a little scattered process at first, but I was sharing with President Lex. I think the more we talk through it, the more it's starting to come into focus. And I think we'll probably meet again prior to the next meeting and share some ideas and, and see if there's consensus um, with the board. But uh, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll have some more definitive things to report. It, it's a scary time out there um, if, if we are considering a, a property tax or sales tax kind of initiative with the voters. The new, new measures for libraries haven't been all that successful. Mm -hmm. um, but I think part of it is, is doing a lot of research before we embark on that road and find out you know, how, how valuable our libraries to the citizens here. I, I know we always get praise and, and people love it. It's a great quality of life asset, especially for, for property owners. It's one of those things people talk a lot about public safety, but when you think about the quality of life issues, um, you're generally, most people aren't interacting with police and fire. They're interacting with library staff yeah, right. and recreation staff and schools. So it, it is an important part of the quality of life. So putting a value on that is the tricky part in it varies wildly from community to community. I think I shared in Berkeley, I want to say it's $347 per parcel mm -hmm. per year. And it's actually based on the square footage, so it goes up from there. But we haven't given up, but, but we're, we're still uh, putting our heads together. Super. Brainstorming. So if you do put it together, you, um, 
Will it be possible to get it on this year's November ballot? I, I think we've got way more work ahead of us than, than to commit. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we have we to, have to, we have to clearly define <laughs> yes. what our vision is, too, Correct. I think. So there's there's a lot of moving parts. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we recognize that we would like more funding <laughs> to expand hours. Um, defining what that is mm -hmm. in the best way. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we need to really start having a long-term vision, strategic plan. These words that, that are going around a lot now in the libraries along the peninsula, a lot of them are engaging in long-term strategic planning. And we, we kind of touched the, the tip of the iceberg on that subject on the Saturday that we spent um, in the retreat back in whatever month that was. Right. Um, and I think maybe in our, you know, depending on the availability of the board, I think maybe some more long, long discussions, but on a, a narrow focus might, might be valuable to point us in the right direction long term. Okay. And, um, also, could you just mention uh, about the consultant? That you oh, yeah. I mean, for those of you who have been following this saga, I, I had at one time a very good friend, very good friend, um, from years, years ago. And he had been working as a political consultant. We last engaged them. Uh, I think they actually worked on Measure V um, two years ago in Daly City. But they, they do ballot initiatives across California, four cities, and they do all the advanced polling and that kind of thing. My friend is no longer with that firm, and I have not tracked him down. I don't, I don't have a, a fresh contact information, so I don't know where he ended up. I don't have another contact at that firm. I could cold call it. Um, on their, their website, it says they are not seeking new clients, so they're only working with existing clients for that firm. But there are, there are lots of firms that do that, so <coughs> that is the update there. Thank you. Any questions? Okay. Uh, the next item is the uh, DCPLA report. Uh, their meeting was April 24th. Uh, minutes of the March meeting and the financial report were approved. The events committee uh, had two items to report on. Crazy about cars and Colma, you remember that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, mm -hmm. uh, the emphasis is saved September 29th is the date. Uh, sponsor request letters are about to be sent. Uh, they've come up with a couple of new, I well, one particular new idea called the Pit Crew Challenge. Uh, they're trying to engage the auto dealers in the Colma area and get teams from the different dealerships to perform certain tasks that you might see at a NASCAR race, tire changing or, you know, who knows what else. Uh, so we'll see how that develops, but it sounds like an interesting idea. Uh, maybe get the competitive spirits up. And then also a Learning Wheels bookmobile will be there, I was told. Is that a county uh, thing, or? I, I think it belongs to the South San Francisco, um, the Learning Center down there that's affiliated with Project Re. Oh, okay, okay. Um, the second event, uh, which is passed, was on May 4th. It was the screening of the film Right Footed. Mm -hmm. uh, it was about Jessica Cox, uh, a young woman who was born without arms and has learned uh, through the use of her feet to lead an amazingly normal life. Uh, uh, her husband, Patrick Chamberlain, was there, uh, and they have a really nice, you know, supportive relationship. Uh, they clearly are a team in this. Uh, she's established a foundation uh, and is trying to raise money to address children with disabilities worldwide. Uh, the film was a partnership between Skyline College, the Filipino Channel, and DCPLA. Uh, there was a reception prior to the film, uh, the screening, and then a discussion with Jessica Cox uh, at the end, led by Lloyd LaQuesta, uh, you know, a former newsman here in the Bay Area. So that was really nice. Membership committee, uh, the committee needs a chair, so I know everybody here has Lily, you've got some spare time between your vacations. No, I don't. I'm, I spend half my life at the, at the doctor's office. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Tom Norris is continuing to speak in the public uh, about DCPLA. Uh, he's been to the Coleman Historical Association, various uh, homeowner associations, and attended the Planning Commission meeting, I was told, to make a pitch for membership. Uh, in the first quarter, uh, there are four new memberships and 32 renewals. I'm told that everything is slow in the first quarter, so they're hoping that will pick up. Uh, and there's a new membership application, uh, and this is it. Have you seen it? No, not the okay. new one. Mm -hmm. see it? Okay, well, Can I download that? Or, because I need to renew. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually have that if you oh, want. Oh, really? Oh, okay. And I've got another copy if okay. you both need one. Yeah, I need one. Need one. But the reason I brought it was uh -huh. not to uh, dig into your pocket, <laughs> but to say, that this upper section is going to be by 18 poster so that it can be placed in different places around the city, uh, sort of promoting and advertising DCPLA. Let's see, communications committee. Uh, there is a change in website management to try and, try and create a new look. Uh, this new website will link to QuickBooks, email, and Wix. Does anyone here know what Wix is? Because I didn't, but I've looked it up. It, it'll be the, the service that they're going to use to manage their website. It'll make it a lot easier, so multiple people will be able to just log in and make updates as needed. Very, It's um, a very easy to use interface. Right, mm -hmm. yes. Well, it's, uh, it's described, self-described as a world-class website building platform for over 110 million users in 109 countries, and it provides the tools and features needed to build an entire online presence for free. <laughs> so it sounds good. The executive director's report uh, given by Susan began with uh, a letter that uh, Mayor Manalo uh, sent in appreciation for the $11,500 donation. Uh, she also mentioned that a grant to the city uh, for $6,500 uh, would be made. We've done that already, right? Or not yet? $3,000 for children's books, $3,500 for seating at the Westlake branch. Okay, that's coming up. Uh, there's a grant proposal uh, to the Seton Foundation for $7,000 that's pending. Uh, hopefully a decision will be forthcoming by June 1st. Uh, another application uh, has been made to the Danforth Foundation for $5,000 for early literacy stations. Um, the, let's see. She also mentioned that the annual report um, is now available. Have you guys received the annual report? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you get one too? I did. Yeah, okay, I great. Did get one. <laughs> I brought some copies in case you did not. <coughs> uh, additional copies are going to be printed, hopefully, and posted in or placed in the libraries so that members of the public who have an interest can pick them up. Uh, Supervisor Canapa was contacted to investigate Measure AK funding for laptop. Lap top checkout, uh, but there was no reply as of the last board meeting. Uh, so you can see DCPLA is looking for ways to backfill the funding for the uh, items that were presented at St. Patrick's Day lunch. Uh, another interesting thing that Susan brought up was a proposal by Cypress Lawn. Uh, they have a, something called a trolley tour, and if people take 15 minimum, I should say, person minimum, take this trolley tour, uh, Cypress Lawn will donate $25 per person or family group. So if I went as an individual, mm -hmm. they would donate $25. If my wife went with me, mm -hmm. they would donate $25. And uh, there would be some expectation of just, you know, sort of a low-key presentation at some point about what Cypress Lawn has to offer people, especially as the uh, population ages. Mm -hmm. 
But I thought that was pretty neat. And I think DCPLA is going to look into trying to schedule something for the board and or members uh, to try it out. And finally, uh, in Susan's report, she said, she didn't say this at the board meeting, but she uh, said that I should mention it tonight. The Westlake book drop box mm -hmm. has arrived and uh, there will be a ribbon cutting ceremony scheduled uh, after the installation or, and invitations will be sent uh, to all the board members mm -hmm. and I'm sure many others. Uh, the next item of business was the Library and Board of Trustees report by Joseph Chela and myself. Uh, Joseph and Chela reported on the budget hearing. Uh, Sarah was there to be introduced to the DCPLA board. And uh, I reported on our April Board of Trustees meeting. The next meeting of DCPLA is Tuesday, uh, a week from today, uh, May 22nd, at 11 o'clock. In the ceremony community room? Yes. Okay. That concludes the report. Any questions? Mm -hmm. um, more of a comment. Um, I'm actually um, facilitating a volunteer event on Monday. Um, we're trying it out. Um, I wanted to bridge Wells Fargo volunteers with um, Daily City Libraries, as I told you before. So um, it's it's very um, we we do specific things like. Um, resources for vets, um, you know, financial literacy, uh, financial literacy for teens and college students, things to that effect to help the community. So I'm bringing it to the library um, and we're trying it out. Um, we're going to have some Hispanic bankers there. We're going to have um, we're going to have some Tagalog bankers there as well. And we're going to do like um, probably like a mini presentation and then one on one to see um, what patrons are there at that time. Um, so we're going to try it out on Monday from 3 to 6, but what I'd like to do is probably get DCPLA involved because now I, um, I attended a uh, fundraiser for Ray Buenaventura and I, and I told um, uh, David Canepa about it and he, he said he wants to attend and then Mayor Manalo is going to attend out as well. So I'm, you know, it's, which is bigger than I intended, but, um, and then, so now I have um, some higher ups from Wells Fargo attending as well. So depending on how this goes, we can, you know, make a partnership to continue to do something like this. So, um, yeah. Um, I wanted to share that with you all, but I do want to reach out to Susan to get DCPLA involved as well. Yeah. So it's um, the John, and I've been in touch with Jessica Diaz, um, so it will be Monday um, the 21st from 3 to 6 at the John Daly Library. Yeah. Okay, so this this Monday? This upcoming Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And it's like, a, yeah, it's, it's it, 3 to 6. Um, Obviously, it's not. Uh, what I don't know what the busy hours are, right? But we just want to see, um, you know, if this is something um, that would be effective, and we would want to continue. Um, but I think it's pretty cool that uh, David and Jocelyn will be attending. And, okay, yeah. well, that's they're supporting. Yeah, yeah, very supportive of it. So, yes. Angela, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Wells Fargo. You know, with the libraries here and trying to give us an extra you know, boost. Yeah, for sure. Um, is there going to be a way of letting people know that this is happening? Yeah, so she um, created a flyer. Um, I asked her to post it on the social media um, site, and um, I, I posted it, right? And then the, the mayor posted it as well via social media, and then um, I think we have something up at our um, branches um, in Daly City. So, yeah, so we have three branches. So um, one in um, Lucky's um, in Mission Plaza, one in Westlake, and one in, inside the Safeway. And then our main um, branch, which is very busy all the time, um, so I'm pretty sure it's gotten some exposure, is in um, Daly City, um, in uh, Ceremony. Yeah. Ceremony's shopping center. Okay, so the John Daly Library. John Daly Library from 3 to 6. <laughs> that sounds great. 
And then depending on the audience, that will help us um, pre-plan for the next one. So, right, because we were like, should we do something on credit? Should we do something, um, you know, for new immigrants? Should we do something for vets? But um, we'll just do a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Super. <clears throat> well, we'll consider that under announcements and communications. Cool. Are there other announcements and communications? Lots. <laughs> All right. And we're going to start with the elusive communications because, for those of you who don't know, the trustees have their own email address, and we diligently check it, Wait, and it's been up until this point junk. It's spam. But we did at 10.02 p.m. on Friday, May 11th, got an actual constituent. And so uh, I'll share that with you this evening. Thank you. Um, I'll protect his privacy and not mention his name. Absolutely. So I said it, was a he. it could be a he. <laughs> but I will say that I received a very similar question back in March and provided a very detailed response. To um, this individual? To the same individual. Okay. So it's a very similar question, but rather than direct it to me, he's directing it to you. Um, I think our answers are probably going to be the same, but I wanted to to alert you to that and ask how you want to respond. respond. Well, you don't want each one of I, us to No, respond. no, no, well, I was I, say, I, I, let me start with a suggestion. I, I, can, I can draft yeah. uh -huh. something and send it to each of you, and then maybe we can reply with your names in the signature block if you concur with if the draft agree. response, yeah, if you want to tweak it or if you want to write your own. But it, I've already got a I would response not. ready so I can well I was going to suggest that it be sent by the president of the board okay um, now that's not to say there can't be input from everybody so you know go ahead and send out your draft because I think that so would I'll, be I'll, I'll send it to you and I'll, I'll copy all the other four you know and that way there's a single point of contact with the board rather than especially in the case of having two trustees not here uh, sending it out under all of our names. Okay. And I think we're. Is that safe. okay with you guys? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you very much. I've got a lot of announcements too, and I'm guessing maybe you do too. Um, we didn't, we didn't. Let me just go back to this for a second. Um, I know this is a one off, pretty much, <laughs> but if we get additional ones like this, uh, if you could let us know before the next board meeting, then we can provide a more timely response. I think, which if I were writing it, I would appreciate it. Yeah. I, I discovered it. You know, he sent it at 10.02 on Friday. I found it yesterday morning when I came into the right. office. No worries. So um, I thought about forwarding and I thought, no, it'll give us something to talk about tonight. Yeah, that so, sounds great. Um, thanks. Thank All right, you. so I'll, I'll try to rifle through some announcements, all kinds of fun stuff coming up starting tomorrow. Do you want to talk about Earth Capade? Earth Capades are coming to what? Daly City. What are um, coming? <laughs> it is a uh, earth science-based um, children's educational infotainment kind of presentation. Um, they're coming and doing a presentation at the Ceremony Library tomorrow afternoon at 4. Um, we have flyers posted all over the place. Hopefully we'll get a good turnout um, and kids will learn a little bit about preserving our precious Mother Earth and be entertained. Um, they are at the best possible price point, free. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Do you by any chance have a, uh, I, one of the flyers? I do not, but um, I can forward it to you. Okay, super. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and then here on Thursday, do you have a choice, or you can do both. Um, the annual Daily City Como, Como Daily City Chamber of Commerce is doing their scholarship presentations. They, For as many years as I've been here, they've given out 40 scholarships, $1,000 each, so they're giving out $40,000. To students in Daly City for college, so graduating high school seniors. Um, it's a very solemn, feel-good event, usually mm -hmm. packs the place, and and you get to hear the stories from each of the 40 recipients and, and where they're heading to school, and, and it's, it's um, heavily contributed by, by local sponsors, so if, if a business gives a thousand dollars towards the Education Foundation, they will then present to an individual recipient. It's kind of a cool little thing. Mm -hmm. So it's in here. Um, 
the, the posted start time is 5.30. They probably will really start at about 6 and then uh, follow that with a reception for the students um, in the rotunda. Simultaneously, upstairs, there's a little excitement. We have brand new art on the third floor in the Octagon Gallery, and it's opening night reception will also be on Thursday, starting at 6 o'clock. The artist is uh, Paul Michael, and his new exhibit is Where the Fog Rolls In. So it's a series of uh, original paintings that, uh, actually, if you want a sneak preview, have just been put up, so you can take a gander of that. But the, the formal opening reception for that is Thursday. Um, looking forward, Paws to Tales is coming back on Wednesday, May 23rd. I didn't write down what library, but I'm going to guess one of them. Okay. This is, it's this Wednesday. Is that? Oh, well, let me look. I have Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. It's probably Wednesday Wednesday Westlake. Wednesday it's May, probably Westlake yeah. Okay. Because I think it's just um, yes. And then another huge event that I don't know if it is yet on Sarah Spence's radar, but it will be on Monday, June 7th at Pacelli Gym. It's the first pitch. Is that on your radar? Uh, Junior Giants. Junior Giants first pitch. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it is a crazy hour or so yeah. in Pacelli Gym because. It's a requirement for every participant who, along with their families. So it's, it's a little bit of controlled chaos, but <laughs> it's the Junior Giants program, again, one of the fundamental aspects of it is promoting reading throughout the summer. The kids have to keep a reading log, and it's a great way to kick off the Junior Giants with providing books to the kids there. So you're going to be swamped and mobbed. You're, it's going to be like, like you're a rock star and they're trying to get to you first. But anyway, it's, it's a very high energy event. Um, and then looking way far ahead, just so everyone puts it on their social calendars, on Saturday, October 13th, our annual Phil Lamb celebration over at March Bank Park. Um, and that's probably going to be 11 to 3-ish. And we're looking forward to returning to March Bank Park. We had it there for the first time last year, and uh, it, was, it was a good event, despite the smoke that was in the air that day. Yeah, but. Awesome. Uh, we're already, we've, we've already had a series of planning meetings and are going to continue a very ambitious mm -hmm. meeting schedule in, in the coming months. So it'll be bigger and better than ever. And, that, and we'll hear more about it as we get closer. Yeah. Oh, I promise you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the team members really but Put it on your calendar today. So then, no. I won't yeah. be here. Save the date. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to be here on Thursday. Uh, so I'm going to miss both events, which is a bummer. Yeah, the scholarship sounds very interesting, and I will go upstairs and take a look at uh, where the fog rolls in. Is that where it? the fog rolls in. Super. The All artist right. is a Daily City local, grew up here, went to schools here. Agenda building for next meeting. Uh, we're carrying over a couple of items. Uh, budget. I presume we'll have it. Adv advocacy with funding measures. ECPLA, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, do you guys have any other agenda items? Not at this time. Okay, anything from the board? And did we agree to have these printed? Um, we are, right? We're going to leave them yeah, at the, actually, each we library? Have talked about this back at advocacy, I think. Uh, Sorry for What do you guys think? I think it's good because it's amazing that. I feel that some of our library patrons don't know what's really going on with a library. Angela, yes. um, Yeah, no, um, I think um, you and I were supposed to, do you want to meet up and talk about this? Were we supposed to talk oh, about Oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah, that's, I think that was a, something that we needed to check off the list. But um, in any case, um, this, is, this is good um, in terms of distribution. Weren't we, didn't we talk about it at the last meeting that maybe we could print something to have at the libraries, maybe with better wording, <laughs> um, but also maybe put something like this on our social media as well, um, just to get the word out there. Sure. Yeah. Um, you're right. We did say that we were going to talk about this. Um, we were the maybe proponents. Maybe I was the impression or... you were going to send me something, but okay. I don't yeah. know. Uh, do you want to hold on this and yeah, let's hold chance? on it and then we can talk about it and then present it to you all. Yeah. Okay. Is that good? How about mm -hmm. sending me a couple of 
suggested dates and times when we can get together then. Absolutely. Because I know your schedule is a little less flexible than mine. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> okay. And can I ask not to get caught up on the on the format, but some, maybe something that doesn't involve hand hand folding? Um, if you were going to do a, a more of a like major a bookmark, distribution, maybe? maybe a bookmark would be a better. Mm -hmm. And that way, uh, they would have a bookmark put in there. Dual use. Yes, dual use. <laughs> bookmarks, and, and bookmarks are one of our most popular products. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to come up with a draft? I get, well, if you want, if you guys want to wordsmith it a little bit and and then pass it off to me, I yeah, can I can put it into something more streamlined. Um, yeah, cheaper to print. Hmm? <laughs> this would be a big bookmark. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, any other comments? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Questions? Thanks for bringing that up. No problem. Uh, seeing no one here from the public, there's no public comment tonight. And seeing no additional business, uh, I will declare the meeting adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.